me carefully so the law was not part of God's plan for man God kept chasing after man in Egypt they murmured he gave them water they are hungry he gives them manna they are messing up and speaking things against God he is blessing them with the pillar of cloud by day pillar of fire by night why fire by night in the desert at night is cold so he gave them heater in the day is hot he gave them air conditioner that's a loving father then in exodus 19 man looked at god and said enough is enough we don't want your supplies we want to earn whatever we get we want to start producing for ourselves and god said moses did they say they don't want me to meet their needs moses said that's what they said god said okay from now distant nobody should come to the mountain if they come to the mountain they will die distance has started god wanted relationship that's why it says the law was added because of transgression whose transgression the transgression of abraham abraham was the originator of the law it was not moses how did abraham originate the law god said to abraham i will give you a seed and abraham said i can't wait abraham produced ishmael and ishmael is the origin of the law galatians chapter 4 two covenants one from mount sinai and one in jerusalem mount sinai answers to jerusalem the law answers to grace which is an allegory but it speaks of two covenants he's talking about works and he's talking about grace isaac was grace old age sarah had clocked menopause no hope for her bam they had a child eyes ishmael was works abraham went out of his way picked his house girl and was struggling to make the promise come to pass and he messed up the plan and out of abraham came law and out of abraham came grace from the same house so that's why when paul was talking in the book of romans he said it was an addendum it was not the original plan so abraham functioned under grace all of them before exodus 19 enjoyed the grace of god that is why when moses gave them the law he gave them the law then he himself he said oh god if i have found favor in your sight show me the way he gave them law and enjoyed grace your amen will be taller than your neighbor receive grace receive grace receive grace somebody shout grace grace follow me carefully put it back galatians 3 19 it was added because of transgressions i want you to see it till the seed should come to whom the promise was made and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator so an angel was the one administering the old testament and in the hands of a mediator called moses so who gave moses the ten commandments angel how do we know that acts 7 35 put it up acts 735 God punished the devil are you ready for this this Moses whom they refused saying who made thee a ruler and a judge the same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush who did Moses meet in the burning bush? An angel. Moses never saw God. Moses never met God. God was interacting with them through angels. He couldn't reach them one on one because there was no mediator. Am I talking to somebody here? Put it up, put it up. Acts chapter 7 verse 50. Let me show you something else. Kabota, Kabota. Acts 750. Had not my hand made all things? 51. 
you stiff naked and uncircumcised in heart and ears you do always resist the holy ghost as your fathers did so do ye next verse which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted and they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one of whom you have been now the betrayers and murderers next verse who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it who gave moses the ten commandments angels if i'm teaching shout i hear so when jesus now said no man has seen god jesus knew what he was talking about hey, yeah, 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 yeah. pastor paul do you know that jesus looked at the jews in john chapter 6 he said look at you guys you think your fathers ate manna you think your fathers ate manna from heaven he said your fathers never ate manna from heaven he said that thing you call manna from heaven didn't come from heaven that manna didn't come from heaven it was just around the atmosphere that that manna came then jesus said to them i am that manna that came from heaven he said your fathers ate that manna and they died he said but this is the bread that a man will eat and not die except you eat my flesh and drink my blood you have no life. shout i hear i hear Jesus he said no manna came from heaven from creation till Jesus came nobody came from heaven so that's why Jesus was emphatically saying no man has seen God at any time no man has seen God at any time the only begotten of the father he has declared him Jesus is God in Colossians Paul calls him the image of the invisible God that's the name of jesus the image of the invisible god the writer of hebrews calls jesus the express image of the father you know why god thought well if i continue to be god where i am man will never know me so i have to give myself an image that man can identify with so god came as man jesus is not a junior god jesus is god outside jesus there is no god there is no god anywhere jesus is god outside jesus there is no god okay let's begin from prophecy his name shall be called help me wonderful counselor eh? Eh? who is mighty god Ever. who is everlasting father jesus is god put up for me john chapter 14 verse number seven john 14 7 hola boshakalana john 14 7 if you had known me you should have known my father also if you know me you know my father and from hence forth you know him and i've seen him that means looking at me you're seeing the father outside me there's no father anywhere follow this next verse next verse verse 8 oh philip said unto him lord show us the father and it sufficeth us philip was saying look jesus this you explain we don't understand let me ask you again in case you don't understand my question we are not wanting to see you we want to see the father your father jesus we know you're jesus but we are saying show us papa who is your father hey, jesus answered philip have i been so long time with you and yet has thou not known me philip he that has seen me has seen the father and how sayest thou then show us the father jesus is saying philip i am the only father you will ever see yeah. 
there is no father outside me i am the father i am the father listen the concept of god the father god the son god the holy ghost is a concept of redemption yes it's a concept of redemption for him to save you he had to come as the son of god he's still the same god he's still the same god he is the pleroma that's the greek word the pleroma that is he is the corporate headquarters of the godhead bodily that is when jesus moves all of god's headquarters everything that makes god god is moving jesus is the corporate headquarters of the godhead bodily are you are you understanding it has pleased god that in him should all fullness dwell and you are complete in him who is the head of all principalities and powers somebody shout i hear you